What's up everybody? Just a quick video for you today over kind of my dream gun that I've wanted for a long time. Had the opportunity to pick one up, so I did, and it's been sitting in the gun safe ever since because I wanted it built how I wanted it built before I did a whole lot of anything with it. Um, so obviously you already know what it is from the title, but it's my version of the SCAR 16S. Uh, this one's chambered obviously in 5.56 and 223. They do have a SCAR 17 and 7.62, but I shoot a lot more 223 than I do 7.62. So, little admin note, obviously still we're not sponsored by anybody, so everything you hear in this video is purchased by me and the business partner, and we test a lot of stuff, we buy a lot of stuff just to see if it works and just give you a real no bullshit approach to it. Um, and so, without further ado, the SCAR 16. So, obviously we run dead air brakes on everything, um, so that's what we're still running, and we haven't got our stuff back from jail yet and we don't know when it's been a hundred and something days and no word but nonetheless we run the silencer co for now and a little bit about the barrel this is a 11 and a half that i picked up from an individual and it was chopped down and tuned by parker mountain so i went on their page they're not taking any new orders for barrel chops or anything like that so i was like well shit so i found one purchased it and it runs exactly how you want it to run um, they do an excellent job as a secondary owner to the barrel so and the process behind that is obviously you have to file a form one and wait on it to come back which they don't take near as long as you know form four or anything and you do it all yourself so it's a really easy seamless process it's just more of a waiting game um, and so that worked out really well for me. And then, you know, I still have my factory 16 inch barrel from, and so that works great for me because if I ever have a barrel problem, I can send it off and still shoot my scar and it not just sit there collecting dust. So moving on from the barrel, you know, we run surefires on all of our uh, rifles and then we're kind of switching over, trying out mod lights, seeing how we like them, but this one's, Got the Surefire Scout Light, the new edition with the new mounting system, which is phenomenal. This is a two and a half inch rail from Kinetic Development Group. So Parker Mountain has some, and Kinetic makes some pretty sleek rails for these scars. Couldn't get my hands on it, so yet again, the secondary market comes in clutch because I had some guys source me one, and he found it within literally a day. So. It's definitely awesome. I like it because there's multiple M-lock attachments all throughout it. So if I want to push my light back farther, put any other kind of accessories, rails, or anything like that, I have ample space to do that. And then I pair that up with the D-Bowl A3. And then I pair the light up with the mod light buttons. We, we really enjoy those. They're seamless. You really have to press it to know that you want it. But other than that, the SCAR stays pretty um, factory. So the only thing internally that's going to change is I put the Geisley Super SCAR in there, uh, trigger, and it has been an absolute workhorse. It's phenomenal, and if you purchase a SCAR, that needs to be your first upgrade. Um, as far as optics go, I've been battling this for a while, and I didn't really know what optic I wanted to go with because with running a laser, you have to add risers to some, some you don't, and I already run LPVOs, and so I wanted to try something different. So I went with the Vortex AMG UH-2. Uh, it's the second edition, so this is the Huey. And so far on the SCAR, it's been phenomenal for me, uh, simply because I don't have to add that riser. It sits high enough that it automatically will look over that laser, and I don't even have to think about it and move it or add any more attachments or anything like that. So that's definitely a huge bonus for me. Plus it's night vision capable. Um, and when we tinker around at night, I don't have to try and find it or anything. It's just there. And then kind of moving on from there, obviously part of the SCAR, why you have to do a Form 1 is the bus stocks aren't interchangeable. It's the awesome Ugg boot that you see here that dances. Um, that's 
the reason that you either have to get your lower engraved or your barrel engraved, which Parker Mountain does do barrel engraving for the serial number. Um, but other than that, you know, besides the standard ferrule sling, that's what we run, but it stays pretty standard and it holds up very well. The weight of this rifle between the 16 inch barrel and the 11 and a half is really not, not a huge difference. You know, the scar came in at about seven and a half pounds. And overall, the shorter barrel length for me, it, it really helps me bring the rifle closer to me as far as I'm not having to reach way out there to pull it back towards me and I get the CQB relevance of the shorter barrel. Um, but other than that, that pretty much sums up the SCAR and what I'm kind of running with it and how I'm enjoying it and things like that. If you guys have any questions or comments or anything, definitely put them down below. You guys are absolutely crushing it on our channel and we, huge, we greatly appreciate it. And we're just gonna keep providing you guys with no bullshit answers to stuff. So if you wanna know anything, just put it in the comments. If you wanna see anything, put it in the comments and we'll try and get it ordered. Thanks, guys.